first breakfasts, 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 breakfasts. Happy Saturday morning. I hope you're sleeping in and now enjoying a very large glass of coffee that's still warm because you kids have left you alone. So one of the most difficult parts for me is like, I'd say difficult, it's not difficult at all. Finding the motivation to do it, a little tricky, is to like sit down and write out a menu plan for the next week. I used to love to do it, but I feel like just after years and years, um, just kind of gets old and monotonous. So if you are in the same boat as me, this video is for you because I am going to post the recipes below that I'm gonna be doing this week and I have planned it out on a menu. But before we get to those recipes, I wanted to do just a little update, a little chit chat, if you will. Number one, I wanted to be a cool kid on Weight Watchers because the people I really like at least started on Weight Watchers and I've done Weight Watchers in the past. I think you know that. Lost a bunch of weight, gained it all back because it's too long calories. But I thought this time, this time it'll be different because I'm gonna track my calories and my points on the healthy app. I think I was able to get enough calories four days out of the month. Guys, if you're on Weight Watchers, track your freaking calories. I would be over in points, but like add a thousand calories for the day. And I'm eating healthy. Like, I mean, I guess everyone has their own idea of what healthy is, but I mean, I'm thinking, you know, like, Sometimes you gotta have quick options. So I'm grabbing a protein bar or, you know, maybe my turkey isn't 99% lean because I'd like to save some money. So things like that, just those points add up so quickly, but the calories don't. So watch yourself. I'm here for you, I don't want you to get to your goal weight and gain it all back like I did because this is what it looks like after Weight Watchers. I lost most of it with Weight Watchers, but again, my calories were so low, I gained it all back. And I decided we're not playing that game this time. I have been tracking. I need to get back to my 1700 calories a day because I have not been doing a good job about that. But this is actually the week where I'm supposed to go up in calories to 2000, 1900, 2000, somewhere around there. So, which has actually came at a perfect time because it's that time when you're a little extra hungry. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna buy some chocolate, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, anyway, so uh, I will try to put points in my videos, but I might not, we'll see. Because the most important thing is that we have a healthy diet and hopefully that will lead to weight loss. So I also, running, update. My knees and ankles are dying. Like I was doing so good the first couple weeks and then since then, I think it's just like a little bit of wear and tear on my joints because I'm still really, really heavy. So I'm going to take a back seat on the running. I'm gonna do it at least once a week, but I'm gonna incorporate other forms of cardio that are lower impact, but then mostly, like I need to start lifting weights, get some good muscles, build up some security around my joints, things like that. And then once I'm a little bit lighter and my joints can handle it better, then I'll ramp up the running again. But this is a part of life, guys. It's not giving up if you get some information and then like have to course correct. You know what I mean? That's how you keep going. That's how you stay successful because getting relevant data and ignoring it is just stupid. So my mama didn't raise no fool. At least not this one. <laughs> so now that that housekeeping is done, we can get onto the menu. First off, I bought this magnetic one from Lois Lane. I will link this beauty down below so I can keep this on my fridge. Now I'm gonna end up changing like what days I eat things, but basically this is just gonna keep it easily accessible for me so that when I see those tomatoes, I'm not questioning what recipe did I buy tomatoes for? Cause that happens. Cause I don't like tomatoes raw. So I know they're for something, but what? So now I remember BLT pasta. So since this is Saturday, your job today is to make your meal plan or borrow this one 
and get your groceries. So I also have groceries listed below for these recipes. So when making a meal plan for us as a family, what is important is normally I look at the servings. I want at least six servings because that gets me and my husband at least lunch the next day because it's me, my husband, and my daughter. She's nine and not that great at eating. This is not a parenting YouTube channel. So we're just gonna move right along there. Um, so six servings. If a serving is like 150, 200 calories, I might need more than that because I got, you know, a giant for a husband who needs calories. And honestly, like we all, we all need calories. But if it's six servings of 150 calories, we're definitely gonna need extra sides or some kind of situation there. So think about that when you're looking at recipes. I just like to spend some time on Pinterest, on like Emily Bites, uh, Pound Dropper, uh, Mason Fit, he's like the skinniest dish, something like that. Several different recipe, um, websites that I'll go through and see what sounds good for that week. But mainly, I don't wanna make lunch the next day. Like, I stay at home, but that doesn't mean I want to cook and clean my kitchen three times a day. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care how much time you have. That is not a joy of mine. I don't love cleaning dishes. So let's get some dinners that we can just reheat for lunches. And then we're not being wasteful. So it's it's a win-win. So all of these will feed me, my husband, and a tiny bit of my daughter at least twice. So I always start with my dinners first. The scavenge around the internet, the interwebs, and see what looks good. Write it down, save it in a note, do whatever you want. And these are the options I came up with this week. So we are going to do, I can't read it through there. Oh yeah, turkey sloppy joe casserole. I've been wanting to do a tater tot casserole, which is what this is, because potatoes are one of those things that are just naturally gluten-free and that makes me happy. So we're gonna do that, but I'm gonna double up the amount of meat in it because it's a very low calorie dish. So I'm gonna double up the meat, which means I might have to adjust the tomato sauce situation. We'll see. I look at recipes as suggestions. Some people get offended that you don't follow something 100%. Hey. This is my house. I make the rules in this house and I, I'll allow it. So that's that. So double the protein here. I'm gonna add a side of green beans. I love fresh green beans that are roasted, but I don't know if it's just me, if it's my fridge or what's happening right now. But every single time I bring fresh green beans home, within two days, they are bad. I go to make them and like, so there's like two in the middle that turned bad and ruined the whole thing. So I'm gonna try some canned green beans and there was a random video I watched where she put soy Worcestershire and some other stuff in it. So I can do like the gluten-free soy Worcestershire. I think it's like garlic. It looks really, really easy. I'm gonna give it a try because if it's good, that is such an easy vegetable for me to prep for my husband's lunches. So that's what we're doing. You pick whatever vegetable you like. Then we're gonna do buffalo chicken wraps. I'm gonna have a wrap because I bought some of those gluten-free wraps that I'm gonna use up. And it might honestly just make it a salad. So I don't have to use them up because they're not that great. But my husband's gonna have his on a hamburger bun. So he's gonna have buffalo chicken sandwiches and we're gonna do probably roasted vegetables with them. I have some sweet potatoes and I'm gonna get some squash and zucchini. So I'm gonna bulk that up a little bit with some of those things. And I have plenty of stuff just to make buffalo chicken salads. I am going to prep a ranch. So we're gonna do another video tomorrow, which is a Sunday prep day to get just a few things accomplished where I'm gonna make some breakfast and some ranch and just a couple random things I need because I know a lot of you, you're working Monday through Friday, so you want quick, easy things. So we're gonna take care of that Sunday, but I wanted you to have this today so you had plenty of time to either put in your grocery order or go to the grocery store 
so you have all the stuff tomorrow so we can prep together like friends and we can sing kumbaya and it will be magical and glorious <clears throat> moving on i'm gonna do some blt pasta salad this is from recipes with roy like i said everything's like linked, linked down below it's obviously pasta salad so you're gonna you know have your noodles it's gonna have a ranch dressing i'm gonna roast my tomatoes because i don't like raw tomatoes and then you add bacon and we're gonna do a side of hamburger i'm gonna have mine with just just the meat that's grilled and my husband's gonna have his on buns so it's like a kind of like a cookout you got your hamburger and your pasta salad and this actually you put shredded lettuce in it so it's like actually a salad and not just noodles with mayonnaise that people call a salad which is pretty confusing to me anyway then i saw this game day chicken on instagram i'll link her below because i can't remember what her name is um, but it looks really good. She just threw a whole bunch of stuff in her crock pot. It's like chicken with black bean and corn and cream cheese and taco seasoning and ranch. And then you just cook it for like four hours. So this is a great, like if you know you're working late one day, then you can just throw it all together, put it on low and then head, head out. We're going to do ours as nachos, I think, because sounds good. Also that buffalo chicken, the recipe I'm linking below, she uses pre-cooked chicken. So that's something you could do on Sunday is just go ahead and cook up your chicken and then throw it together the way she does it. But I'm also going to write down a description on how to make, how I'm going to make it in the Instapot. Instapot. See, I do that. Instant pot. In Insta how I'm going to do it in the Instant Pot. Um, so if that sounds better, then you can just kind of follow those directions below. That's what I'm talking about making it yours. I took what her recipe and just tweaked it to work for me. Cause I'm selfish like that. Then on one day we have tamales. These are something I find in our freezer section. Hopefully you can find it. We live in Texas, so it's very easy to find for us, but hopefully you other folks can find that. But if not, Go dally around the freezer section and see what looks good. Cause I want at least one dinner that is super fast and comes together quickly. These tamales are it for us. I'm gonna add uh, a side of refried black beans and a taco salad. So yeah, I did five dinners because normally that will give us lunch the next day. And then one or two of these will probably make enough that we can fill in any holes that we are missing. So I'm leaving two nights where either leftovers or if we've run out of everything, mama gets a break and we go out to eat or pick something up, which is normally tacos because it's hard to find gluten-free in a small town. So, um, and then for breakfasts, breakfasts, and for breakfasts, am I illiterate? Maybe. Egg salad sandwiches. Oh God. For breakfast, damn it. What I'm cooking for breakfast. <laughs> One thing I'm gonna prep, do on our Sunday prep is make this egg salad. It has the Greek yogurt and a little bit of mayonnaise and dill, which I love. So I always bump up the dill. And it's something that uses hard boiled eggs. So you just make it up, put it in the fridge and use it how you please all week long. And I'm very excited about it. I like it on like English muffins or bagels. I have these little bagel thins that I can eat. Um, so I'm gonna put it on that with a little bit of, I like spinach, but I bought like a spinach spring mix situation. So I'm just gonna try it with that and see and pray to God the um, bitter ones don't get me, you know what I mean? But when that doesn't sound good or if that runs, I always keep things like gluten-free waffles and woo. Oh, and then I also like can make, I bought Canadian bacon and that was actually really good. I have, I don't ever have that. So Canadian bacon um, with just a scrambled egg and a laughing cow cheese on those bagel thins, really good as well. But for a fit, quick fix, if I just need something quickly or like if I'm gonna go running, sometimes having something small and starchy first um, and then having something more protein filled after is nice. So I have the blueberry bagels in there where I can have one. Always, always have um, like carrots and hummus on hand, extra fruit on hand, things like that. Uh, I'm gonna see what the grocery store has because, you know, a little spice and adventure into my life. I think that's it. Oh yeah, good pops. Have y'all had those? Mm, they're so 
good. So for lunches, I literally just have leftovers from the previous dinner. And then my husband likes ham sandwiches. I don't, I don't get it guys, uh, but maybe that's just me. I'm not a fan of ham in general, but um, yeah. So he might have ham sandwiches and chips and I'm gonna keep things like nuggets. And um, if you can find like those Tyson blackened chicken, keep easy things on hand so that if something goes awry, which it does, you have an easy quick option to substitute. Put it right in there and then you're good. Planning is the most important part, honestly. And I think something that's very simple that should be said is if you don't like it, don't eat it. Okay. There are delicious, healthy foods that you can eat. Find what you like and eat it. Okay. Stop forcing yourself to eat stuff you don't like because that's just cruel. And you know, you have options. Like you don't, you don't have to do that. So let's find some recipes you love. Try some new ones if you'd like. And um, let's hit this week hard, but more likely it's just gonna hit me hard, you know? Okay, that's gonna be all for me today. I'm gonna show you the grocery haul and a little bit of prepping tomorrow's video. So come back tomorrow and watch it. Let's do this together. Also, thanks for watching. I'm gonna have another hiking video coming out soon. And if you want a little bit more on this meal plan, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I will put my Instagram tag right here. Go follow me over there. I will be posting videos and pictures of dinners as I'm cooking them. Um, I'll put little snippets over there from time to time. So it's a good place to keep in contact with me and you can message me directly so we can be real friends. Sounds awesome. I will see you tomorrow.